Well, good morning. Today is the uh, the third of uh, April, two thousand twenty-three. Kind of a, uh, a gloomy Monday. Uh, supposed to be kind of cloudy. Uh, getting near fifty degrees today. Uh, Going to be that way most of the week. Uh, we were down here. Uh, for the, twice yesterday, uh, cleaning the uh, the racks, uh, keeping things going. Uh, flow is real heavy. We're running a lot of water, uh, a lot of melt off coming down. Uh, it, it's it's that time. I would suspect it's going to continue all the week long. That this way, uh, you you can see we we don't have a you know it's not terrible, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, the, the plant is running at, at uh, almost what we consider 100%. Uh, the, because the wicket gates never open up 100% of the way. Um, you know, they run about 85%. So we're putting out 756, 757 kilowatts from, from the plant. Uh, you know, not, not, not a huge amount. Uh, that's not quite one meg. <laughs> so it is what it is it's it's doing good we're running real heavy uh we're putting out lots of lots of voltage lots of uh kilowatts running out uh so the money is being made so that's a plus kind of walking up here to take a look at the meter shed again just to verify that the numbers i had were were correct the uh, the chickens been fed. We did them earlier. Uh, everybody's happy. Everybody's out. Uh, we've got to get got to get these other ones. The other ones should be hatching today, so we should see them uh, hopefully on Wednesday, maybe Thursday. Uh, Thursday, uh, I believe. Uh, I've got to check my calendar, but I believe I've got uh, grand jury duty, unless it gets canceled again. Uh, and it's real possible that it could. And that's, uh, yeah, it could. We actually were uh, just a hair high, so it's okay. It'll work just fine. I'm going to put it down now and, and uh, we'll make up for it this week and things will drop. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, usually on, uh, for the, for the grand jury duty, we get, uh, it gets dismissed up in this county because it's just not that much crime. Uh, if you do, it's, you're there for a couple hours, but anyways, so yeah, it, it's, it's real possible that the, uh, the chickens could show up, uh, on uh, on Thursday, why I'm at jury duty, but that hey, it, it happens. Uh, yeah. The last time I was at jury duty, we had a, a baby being born. So, or the baby was was well, not that last time I was there. The first time we went for the first initial hearing, uh, in the introduction, I uh, got a uh, that was when uh, Christopher was being born. So. And he was on his way to Albany Med. So it was kind of interesting. They're trying to figure out what was going on, where, where everybody was at, and and uh, trying to sit through a, a jury introduction. We're, we're down to, uh, to, to 12 chickens. So uh, the predator has been fed. That is... That is most definite. We're still not sure what it is. Uh, it is what it is. That's just what. <laughs> uh, but I believe in it's a mink. So the the snowpack that's left is so hard that you can walk over ninety percent of it. Uh, we'll find out today because we got a uh, an opening to do. I'm on top of it. Yep. Get a good look at the 
the tail race. We haven't seen the tail race in a, in a while. There's our tail race running this morning. You can see the rocks are covered that are usually opened up. Uh, this is this is where the, the streams co uh, come together down through here, run out through there. Uh, we do have that black pipe that's there. Went to a chicken feeder, came across it, automatically fed from the from the stream. As long as the stream was running, the water was was flowing through the the uh, water. Never had to worry about it. That's where the chickens were here where the tractor sets uh, we can start to see the the uh, valves for the uh, air valves for on the tires of the of the tractor this side's still not there but it's getting there as soon as I can see them we can we can actually do a little work there should push some of the uh, snow off the seat that's left jeez Nope, it's not going to happen. <laughs> That's a froze on there. We'll, uh, we'll see where we're at with uh, so the snow melts a little bit more this week. We'll, we'll throw the, uh, we'll, 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 we'll try to start the tractor, see where, where we're at there. Uh, this snow here is way down. Trying to move the pitchfork out. Grandkids have been, uh, the grandsons have been saying, we need to get that little trailer cleaned out for the chickens. And they're right, we, we need to get that done probably this week or this weekend. We'll run down here uh, and, and get it get it busted out real quick. I'd really like to move the trailer, but I don't think I'm going to at this point. Uh, it's going to set there. Uh, it's, it's actually a good spot. Uh compost pile here you can actually see the compost pile compost pile is kind of uh that's <laughs> no it's not too bad it's gonna need to be uh <laughs> as soon as it thaws out a little bit more it's gonna need to be flipped i got uh, lots of compost that's got to be moved out of the chicken chicken coop and and uh move that around but uh you know that's where we're at today we've got a uh an opening where then we're going to go up to Seville, uh, do a little more work on that one. Uh, the opening is uh, more or less kind of a we're going to kind of do a little bit of everything. It's uh, we're going to turn the turn the uh, stove on or the heater on. They got a propane heater, so we'll get that on. We've got a uh, to get the water on. We do the overall check on everything, make sure everything's okay. She's going to be there. Her intention is to, to uh, start staying here uh, for the week or for, for some time. We're, we're in a chicken coop now looking for eggs, and we have none this morning. None. Oh, there's one. Somebody has a spot down here where they lay every once in a while. But with with only a dozen, only a dozen chickens. It's actually ten hens. Is all. It's really what we got, uh, and they're old. So, hi, ladies. How are you? That's the uh, that's the ladies' group. They're there every day. That's where they sit. They congregate there and uh, talk about what's going on in the world. That's their job. Or they think that's their job. They come out, get a little bit of food, get some water, mosey on their way. Uh, <laughs> but then just hang out there. They sit there on the, on the perch and... They'll cluck it wherever it comes in, and that's about what they do. So we got one egg this morning out of ten layers. So not great odds. <laughs> Gonna go in and double check and make sure I turned everything off. It needs to be turned off because 
I did. So we're gonna be, because we're gonna be heading back to the house because I'm gonna meet that lady about 9:30, 10 o'clock. Is what I told her. So we'd like to get there before she does. I got another one out in. Uh, that's out in Pasico. It's a. Her camp's about 10 miles away. Uh, so it's not too bad. Nice lady. I had to figure out. I've checked her camp a couple times through the winter. Um, and never sent her a, an invoice on it. So we'll, we'll be picking up a check from her today. Uh, it was every two weeks. Uh, Maybe it was once a month. Once a month, I, I was checking that. I, I went by it every every two weeks. I went by it every week and looked. But I think I only darted in there uh, a couple times a month. And, uh, and uh, but, uh, yeah, I think she only, only needed once a month, and that's what she requested. So that's a $25 fee for each time I visit her. So... And it's just open the door, check out, walk in the house, walk around, make sure that the, the windows aren't broken and, and, and that kind of stuff. Uh, you don't do anything. You don't do any physical uh, labor at all. That is all that you do. All right. But anyway, so uh, and I've got another one out there just down the street from there that I'll check on today. Uh, again, uh, that's that's a, a, a weekly thing that I do. And, uh, you know, they, they prepay. Although they just said, usually at the end of March is the last of those. Uh, but these people said they weren't coming in April, so they wished we would continue. And I said, no, no, no big deal. So we'll just go ahead and do it. All right. Anyways, so if I uh, come across anything exciting, I'll I'll shoot you an email or shoot, shoot, shoot you an email, shoot you a video, let you know what's going on. And, uh, you know, other than that, pretty quiet. Um not a whole lot happening, so and it's that time of the year where where we're going into our mud season. The roads are now posted, which means that the uh, the frost is coming out of the ground, and the secondary roads are are basically closed to heavy traffic or high high uh, uh, profile or not high profile, but heavy heavy duty equipment vehicles, um, dump trucks and stuff can't come through. Uh, our road here does not get posted because it is a concrete base, so. Um, so we can come in and out of here without any issues. Uh, I saw a feller buncher coming down the road today, and I thought maybe they were coming here, but and I don't know. So it's possible that they are, they did. So anyhow, that's where we're at for the day. Um, yeah, again, uh, you got to take care of yourselves and those around you because we don't have anything other than that. I'll talk to you later.